I went through Fender Play for you. This is like guitar. What's happening, guys? So, guys, I have a confession to make. I've been playing Fender Play for the past few months. In fact, I've been doing Fender Play since quarantine to help you guys understand what you get into when you sign up for Fender Play. Fender Play is Fender's like flagship teaching software tool online resource thing you can go through guitar bass or ukulele and you can go through a bunch of courses well in case y'all didn't know i'm already pretty good at guitar i've got about five on the wall over here and i play all around nashville i got my wife to let me buy a bass so i could learn fender play on an instrument that i have no idea what it's about yes i have been playing bass through fender play for the last four or five months now since quarantine gosh march or so um march april may june yeah five months yeah i'm pretty good on it but yes i've become a master of the fender play bass method and i'm here to tell you all the good and the not so good things when you get into fender play for the first time now guys i hate to break it to you but i have to get subscribers to get big on the youtubes and my wife said that if i get 10,000 subscribers i can get this Yes, you see it. This is a paper cutout of a Gibson ES-335 that I hang on my cork board when I go to work every day. Guys, if I get 10,000 subscribers, my wife is going to buy one of these suckers for me, and it's up to you to decide my fate. Can I get an ES-335? Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I want to be the owner of this deliciously beautiful instrument. When you set up your account with Fender Play, you have to choose a path or a discipline. There are tons of different ways to learn these instruments they offer you, but their main instruments are going to be guitar, ukulele, and bass. And in those categories are subcategories. So for example, funk bass, or rock bass, or blues guitar as an example. I chose funk bass as my course that I was going to take. So you can see in the top left hand corner, you see my path here. Um, I've got five different levels of funk bass mastery. and just to give you guys an idea of what the courses look like, over every course is going to be sub-videos in different categories. And the whole idea with the Hot Streak Method is to spend at least seven minutes three times a week on these kinds of lessons. To be fair, Fender Play does make it very, very simple, okay? It makes it extremely bare bones. If you guys have never picked up a bass before, or a ukulele, or a guitar, there are going to be things that are going to be completely obvious to some people but maybe not to others and I think Fender puts them there for just completion purposes okay so for example you have sound advice 101 the get to know your bass the role of the bass player is to bass and then you've got stuff like tune up and getting plugged in you, you essentially learn like how to plug a string and how to tune your bass and what a tuning peg is and how to get plugged into an amplifier now they're all Fender branded equipment so if you have a different kind of bass it's not going to keep you from learning from a Fender musician or a Fender amplifier that they use, but just so you know, of course, they're Fender, they're going to use their own stuff for these videos. And then when we get into the actual meat and potatoes, the first course is very much like setting up good habits, as they say, they teach you how to read tab and all that jazz. And they're going to be pretty consistent with all of the courses. You're going to get any any path you choose are going to have the subsequent like foundational actual courses that you're going to have to take as well as counting quarter notes and half notes and all that jazz, getting to know the strings of your instrument. Now, I will say as a musician who's played guitar for a very long time, I was pretty much accustomed to all of these things, and even though I've never played bass before, I picked up the dexterity and the bass playing skills pretty quickly that they required. It's going to vary from person to person, but just know that when you dive into Fender Play, and if you haven't played an instrument before, it's going to take you some time outside of Fender Play to get used to some of the skills they're teaching you here. So keep that in mind. What you practice here, you should be practicing even more outside of the Fender Play sphere. Now throughout the course, you're given a bunch of different songs to play with. What I appreciate about Fender Play is that when they're having you practice some of these things, they're giving you real songs to play. For example, they've got I Got the Feeling by James Brown. Now they're not gonna play the actual James Brown tune. They don't play the actual music they would have to pay rights for that. But they're gonna tell you how to play, essentially, the bass lines for some of these things. You can kinda of see the tabs here that I've got here. It just gives you a very short snippet of the tablature, okay? It's not the entire song of James Brown. And does it get a little more advanced? Yes, but you're not gonna get entire songs of these things. You're gonna get snippets, riffs, verses, choruses, things that are memorable, and they'll teach you how to play those things. So it is nice that you're using some of the skills you're learning to play specific songs. That is something that a lot of people don't do enough when they play music, is actually play musical things. Now, 
as you can tell if I go to level 5, we're into more of like advanced based techniques. I'm going to say advanced. It's not super advanced. More like intermediate. It's got stuff like vibrato and hammer-ons and you know slaps and you know some of these other like ghost note kind of exercises. But if you're looking at the songs in this part, you can definitely tell based on session one that rhythmically it's going to be a little bit more advanced and they give you the tools you need to learn to count rhythm. But they're not going to teach you how to read music. That was one of the biggest concerns I've had playing Fender Play. For a lot of musicians, I'm sure, just starting to play an instrument, learning to read actual sheet music is kind of a bother and it's actually more of a hindrance to their path because they don't have the attention span to like teach themselves how to read music. So having the tab is good to get your hands on the instrument. It gives you a feel for how to play these things, but I am kind of disappointed that Fender will not teach you how to play, um, how to read sight music, which it's going to be what it is, but just be aware of that. But they are going to teach you how to read rhythms, which are an equally important part in this bass course specifically. Um, as you can tell, instead of giving you actual notes on a stave, they've actually given you the fret numbers, um, but instead of giving you actual notes, they put the frets in its place, which yeah, you can kind of learn to read that way, but you're not going to learn to read that way. You're really not. You're actually going to have to have actual notation to learn to read. And bass clef is something that I'm not familiar with as well because I'm a guitar player. We play in treble clef, so having a kind of bass clef, you know, kind of lesson would have been really helpful down the road. Now, outside of that, there's not a whole lot of things inside actual courses, but if you want to change your actual course, you can go to you know, your path selection, you can select electric guitar, and pick from all these different paths. Pop, country, rock, blues, folk. And we've got, of course we've got bass and ukulele. Ukulele is going to be a little bit limited. Just so you know, you're going to learn to play Over the Rainbow. Congratulations, you can play ukulele. And lipstick stains on the back lobe of my left side brain. You've got acoustic guitar stuff, once again, similar to electric guitar. Um, you can make that your path and then it gets shown up in your actual path. So as you can see right here, acoustic guitar, welcome to the pop pass, first things fast, play notes now, um, Peter Gunn, that's interesting, they got Peter Gunn in here. They teach you how to record charts, which is all great, but once again, because I was with bass, I focused mainly on the bass path, and I'll make this my path again. And as you can see, as I complete courses, they at least remember that you've completed them. If you guys are like, man, I've already learned this kind of stuff from a past bass lesson, no worries, you can just select the course details, you can hit undo, or you can complete the course without having to take it. Just go and select complete. But outside of that, we have some favorites here. So you can kind of select different things in your skill sets that you may want to learn. So for example, if you like accented strumming, for example, you can select it and you can favorite it. You can come back to it as a quick play, so you're not going through tons of different menus at the same time. And then of course you have articles, you can read things about playing guitar and their pro tips and all this jazz. What's nice about Fender is that they do offer you a lot of different you know, rounds of support. These articles are good, they're fun. Um, Honestly, like, who's going to think of this? No one thinks of this unless you're playing guitar for the first time, but that's really important for a lot of people, managing finger pain. Um, but these articles are really helpful if you're a beginning guitar player, learning basic song structure is important. Um, take them with a grain of salt, obviously, there's going to be a lot of opinions on a lot of different things, but you can look at different things they've curated for you, like playlists and top moments of 2019 and all this other stuff. And a lot of different tips that you may not think about when playing a guitar and having to go through YouTube and trying to find all these topics, you can just come to the Fender articles, you can search for a skill, search for an article, and find some great tips to play, which is really important when you're getting started playing guitar. Now what is cool about collections is that collections gives you a bunch of essential skills and techniques you can use to build your skill sets. It gives you different crash courses and articles and different skill sets. Now I will say that a lot of these skills you're going to find in a course already. So if you're going through a certain path, all of these videos are just kind of repeated for you guys. Now some of these things are going to be new, like these just added things are going to be helpful to you guys, but essentially a lot of these courses are already built into your paths, but if you want to find something very specific very quickly, you can go into these crash courses, the cage system, major scales, and some of these techniques that you may not know already, which is really cool about paths. So what's my consensus, okay? So Fender Play is a really good instructional guitar place to go to if you want to learn how to play certain instruments, specifically guitar, bass, and ukulele. You're not going to find a whole lot on uke. Sorry guys who want to learn how to play ukulele, but then again, you don't really need to know a lot to play the ukulele semi-decently. 
but for guitar and bass you're gonna have a little bit more they're gonna give you the bare bones all the way up into semi intermediate skill levels they aren't gonna teach you how to read music that is a real bummer but the amount of articles and things they add to this with this really beautiful branding really helps you guys to learn the instrument in a really cool and unique way I would recommend a Fender play for anyone just starting out playing guitar and don't have access to an instructor that is the biggest thing I would say you're never going to regret hiring someone to teach you guitar lessons from someone you trust or from your local music shop. You just get a whole lot better being with somebody. You'll gain important skills like learning to read music. That's a huge thing that Fender does not offer you in this course. But outside of that, Fender Play for you know a few dollars a month is a really good place to get a bunch of cool articles and to have things constrained into one place. And you know with Fender, they're going to keep promoting this material. I know that when I started out in Fender Play, I was given a free six month trial due to COVID and you can get extensions to that they might be giving some away still that was a big promotion back in the day and it's recommended for anybody just starting out to play it if you're more of an intermediate guitar player and you're more of somebody who's already pretty good at the instrument in general that you want to play fender play may not be for you and i say that not that you can't get something out of fender play but for the amount of money you spend you're better off just finding your articles on youtube or on reverb or wherever you find guitar information um, Fender Play is great. Fender Play is good for the beginning guitar player, but once again, not for everyone. Guys, thanks a bunch for watching my video on Fender Play. I definitely got better at my bass playing going through Fender Play, although at times it was really sloggy, not going to lie. If you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing. I make all kinds of videos. And if you subscribe, you get me one subscriber away from getting that beautiful Gibson guitar. Come on, guys. Help me out here. Guys, thanks so much for watching my video. We'll see you guys soon, and we'll see you back on the channel sometime.